Hello and welcome to another pen video from me, Penultimate Dave. So our UK South Fountain Pen Club met up with some other people on the 20th of September 2019. And the reason for this, this was a Friday afternoon, Friday evening, was because it was this year's Pelican Hub. And this was not only my first Pelican Hub in attendance, uh, I missed last year's Pelican Hub, but I was also the host of this year's Pelican Hub. And we decided as a fountain pen group or community that we would try and host our own Pelican Hub and Pelican allowed us to do so so we hosted it in fleet in hampshire in the uk which is uh, very close to where our normal uk south fountain pen club is situated but we decided to pick a different venue this time and we decided to actually have an outside venue if anybody knows uk weather that's a risky element but we had beautiful blue skies not a cloud in sight and the temperature was 21 degrees centigrade or celsius we decided to set up a little bit early the pelican hub starts at 6 30 p.m and we started it at 4 p.m and if anybody wanted to try and avoid the rush hour traffic it bearing in mind it was a friday afternoon uh, or evening that uh, rush hour traffic can get a little bit hectic on a friday so my plan was to set it up a little bit early and if anybody wanted to attend a little bit early they could and a number of people did so I was actually quite glad of that. And you can see here that there were quite a few people in attendance, everybody enjoyed themselves. Pelican provided the usual free Pelican catalogue along with a Pelican notepad and also a bottle of this year's uh, Pelican Edelstein ink which is the Star Ruby ink. So that was actually a really good turnout and everybody managed to receive uh, their free copies of each. We also had Gary there blogging away on the evening. He was trying to put together a blog post. And you can see us all chatting here and lots of pens on, on display as well. So it wouldn't be a Pelican Hub without Pelicans and there were a lot of Pelicans actually on display. There were quite a lot actually that I didn't get to take photos of at the start of the Pelican Hub uh, from Henry and Andrew. But Henry and Andrew had a number of uh, Pelicans with them and uh, some of them were I believe 200 M200 demonstrators, an M800 demonstrator and also a vintage uh, Pelican. I also brought along my Pelican M805s and 800s and this was the Vibrant Blue, the Grand Place, the Ocean Swirl and the Royal Gold Varden which is an absolutely stunning uh, abalone shell version there. And unfortunately I'd actually sold a number of my Pelicans uh, before, about a month before the Pelican Hub so uh, I brought along a, a selection of other pens and uh, you can bring along other pens to a Pelican Hub if you want. Uh, you don't have to just bring Pelican pens. So I had some other pens here. I had a uh, Molteni. I had some Armando Simone Club pens. And uh, some classic pens. The LM1 and the LB5 there. You can see that there. I also bought some of my infamous Viscontis. A Belgica. The XC Deld. The... Luxor 88 Obelisk, the Watermark, the Speakeasy, the Jacques de Molay, the Camelot, the Medici Il Magnifico, and also some Homo Sapiens, the Bronze Swirl, the London Fog, and the Caput Mundi, and I also had an Opus 88 Demonstrator. And there were a number of new pens also being shown around as well. Jackie bought some, some new Retro 51s that she had just picked up recently. And uh, there's a couple that I actually purchased that, that uh, I will have a review of hopefully soon. But this one was actually a really nice one. I've seen this online quite a few times before. It's the Bumblebee edition of it. And it's really nice. I not only like the bees on it, but the actual honeycomb is actually textured. So it really feels quite nice in the hand uh, but it's quite a unique pen and I'm starting to warm up a little bit more to the Retro 51s I have the Apollo series of, of three pens and then I've bought a couple more and then uh, there was this lovely ink that Jackie brought and I think this was a troublemaker ink you can see that it has a lot of sort of glitter um, particles uh, in it but it's actually a very very um, sort of glittery sort of 
ink uh, made in the Philippines. Uh, I haven't actually tried the ink myself. So it was uh, inked up in one of the pens and uh, the converter was very glittery. And here you can see uh, my Visconti Homo Sapiens bronze swirl that I brought along. I had actually just rinsed it out, so there's a little bit of inky residue left in there because these are really hard to clean. Uh, but you can see here the, the wonderful 1.3 millimeter stub nib uh, that it has on that pen. I also brought along some other pens as well. Uh, this is the nib from the uh, Visconti uh, Medici Il Magnifico. And it's, again, it's a 23 cap palladium nib and that's a medium nib and also I have another uh, 18 cap gold nib and this is a Visconti medium nib you can see it here a little bit more in a sort of a more of a sunset sort of setting and you can see that the two-tone really does sort of uh, pop out on, on that nib a lot I also took along with me my Visconti Camelot and this is a pen that I really do like writing with a lot uh, and it's a beautiful pen I had the Jacques de Molay as well and you can see the Jacques de Molay medium nib here and uh, that is uh, quite a, a wet writer now. Also my Sailor King of Pen nib, which is on my Classic Pens LB5. That's a 21 karat gold nib. And also you can see a very inky Armando Simone Club. And uh, this is the Il Gladiatore. And then I had some Pelican nibs with me. And unfortunately, all of my Pelican nibs are broad nibs. So here's an 18 karat gold nib. And here's another one as well. And you can see there that that engraving on the pelican nibs are really actually quite nice. They're very deep uh, sort of engravings on the nib, uh, which you don't actually see on a lot of nibs. So I'm still glad that pelican actually do some very heavy, deep engraving on their nibs. And then here you can see my Molteni Modelo 55S. It's the Royal Blue Luchens and also the Armando Simone Club africa pen and these i i have been running within the last few months a lot of and i decided i would bring those along with me for the pelican hub and also my classic pens lm1 and the classic pens lb5 uh, with the diffusion bonded acrylic i also brought a few more of my arcos along with me so you can see here the Il Magnifico and also the Visconti and this is the Manhattan Arco along with the Africa and these are really really stunning pens I, I still do like the Arco uh, I am more partial now to the Verde Arco than the Brown Arco but the Brown still works really well for me and then in terms of overlays I had the Visconti watermark now this is the original watermark uh, not the 29 edition watermark version so this has a 23 cap palladium nib and also my Belgica there which has the 18 cap gold broad nib and also the ecstasy dowd which has a, a 23 cap palladium nib medium nib and then the watermark here along with the Visconti Medici Il Magnifico and the Visconti Camelot and then you can see the watermark alongside the speakeasy and the Visconti Camelot there as well and I decided to bring the Visconti Luxor Obelisk uh, which is a really nice uh, ebonite pen with uh, Macchie that is a lacquered pen so that is a very special pen with a power vac 23 cap palladium nib I brought that along with me along with the speakeasy and the Templar edition Jacques de Molay and then here you can see the Visconti Luxor Obelisk along with the Ecstasy Dowd and also the Visconti Speakeasy. And then finally you can see some of the Homo Sapiens that I brought along with me as well. And this is the Visconti Homo Sapiens Bond Swirl, the Visconti Homo Sapiens London Fog and the Visconti Homo Sapiens Caput Mundi. So it was a really good night. Uh, we had about a dozen people turn up and I really enjoyed myself and others enjoyed themselves too and it was really good to have Pelican host this uh, annual worldwide event uh, that normally starts around 6.30 p.m. Uh, in your local time zone and we were able to, to host it a little bit earlier um, so that people could avoid the traffic but also we, we went on to, uh, to uh, about 8 o'clock at night so uh, it was actually a, a pretty good turnout and uh, I'm really glad that um, everybody was able to turn out I'm really glad I was able to host it this year uh, thanks to Pelican 
for providing all of that uh, gear and goodies for everybody to take home with them and thanks to everybody that attended i hope you like this video please like comment and subscribe and i'll see you on the next pen video bye bye